Hi guys, this is John Deere Joe Rainbow looking at a prototype 1981 or 1982 liquefier with independent front suspension. The Horicon team built this with a strut with extrusions, reinforced factory skis, but yet it looks like a liquefier with an 81 hood. 1982 liquefier stripes, it's obviously entirely different. Under the hood, we have a modified muffler. And instead of a typical motorcycle type strut, we have a structural strut containing a coil over shock assembly to handle the load. It's got a sway bar. And these sway bar end links have a patent on them that as you start to turn the skis, it pre stresses the sway bar to help keep the sled level and flat. Clutching system. This was Deere's proprietary TR800 drive clutch and match driven. It was for the inch and 3 8 wide belt kit that came out from the 1982 liquefiers and was offered as a retrofit. However, this is cut down to allow for clearance to install a belt. You take a look at here, you're very tight to try to get a belt on this machine. So they cut this cover into a trapezoid shape because you'd never be able to get a drive belt on this. So they did have to do some changing to the stock clutching to allow for room between the right strut. Although this looks like a standard liquefier tunnel, and it mostly is minus the modifications for the struts, these side panels are off of a sport fire and this bumper is sport fire. As you can tell by the dent in the front, this sled was well used. The skis, again, are reinforced. These have added reinforcements so they don't bend the tips. Obviously, these were still in development as the skis from each side are different. And as I pointed on the other side, these steering arms are made out of extrusions. So John Deere did pay to have an extrusion made, and then they hand cut and machined them down for steering. The rest of the parts were custom drawn tubing on ground on seamless grinding and uh, factory stampings when we were using the original chassis, they tried to duplicate that for the tower, although while this was handmade, 